What does silence actually sound like? Is it really just nothing? Because we think we know, don't we? Silence is just the absence of sound, which technically is true, but the reality of it is so much stranger. When scientists put people into the quietest rooms on Earth, rooms that block out 99.9% .9 of sound, nobody achieved Zen. No one achieved enlightenment like the Buddha sat under his tree. They all started to lose their minds. It's something the brain can't comprehend. I'm Lewis, I learn things for a living, and all the research I've done will be in the description. First of all, let's clear something up, because absolute silence is physically impossible to achieve. Wherever you are right now, even if you weren't listening to this video, you'd be able to hear a lot, whether that be the fridge humming, the wind knocking against the window, the shuffle of your clothes as you move, even if you're in bed, asleep at night, seemingly sat in complete silence. You could hear your own heartbeat. You could hear your own pulse banging against your pillow. The closest that anyone will ever get to true silence is inside an anechoic chamber. These are specifically crafted rooms that exist to block out as much sound as physically possible. And the most famous one is in Orfield Laboratories in Minnesota, America. It holds a Guinness World Record for blocking out the most sound. It has wedges of foam that specifically stop vibrations. The floor itself is on springs in order to reduce said vibrations. It's a mechanical masterpiece. That specific room blocks out 99.99% .99 of all sound from the outside world. And it's that good that even NASA use it to train their astronauts because there is no sound in space. And you can go in for $400 if you wanna do that for some reason. The longest session that one person has ever had in it is around 45 minutes. And that's not because they got bored. It's actually a lot more sinister. The silence becomes unbearable. The brain never stops listening even when there's no sound about. When outside sound doesn't exist, the brain turns inwards. And in doing so, you hear things that you were never meant to notice. The scrape of your joints moving, the blood gushing through your veins, even the liquid in your skull sloshing about. Some people even say that they can hear the electrical activity going on in their nervous system the brain quite literally listening to itself. And because your brain expects sound, you've grown up with sound your entire life. When there is none, the brain starts to make auditory hallucinations. The exact same as if you were to take a hallucinogenic drug. Phantom footsteps, a faint buzzing just to fill the dead noise. People even say they hear voices. So silence doesn't feel empty it feels crowded. There's also a weird balance myth that I wanna cover here, because you may have heard that if you were to chop someone's ear off, they'd lose their ability to balance. And in essence, it has some truth to it, it's just not wholly the truth. It's not because your ears act like fleshy little counterweights that keep your head in balance and that's why it throws you off, that's stupid. The outside of your ears, these fleshy cartilage parts here, acts like radar dishes. They shape sound in 3D. And the way that they bend it and distort it allows your brain to know where the sound is coming from, whether it's above you, below you, in front of you, behind, left, right, etc. Without these cues, the world feels less anchored. You feel disoriented because it's almost like you're floating around in nothing. But the real master of balance isn't your outer ears, it's your inner ears. They act like mini gyroscopes. They're made up of tiny canals of fluid. And so every time you move your head, the fluid moves microscopic little hairs. And that is what tells your brain where you're moving and how you're moving. Now, without them, you would have no balance. In these anechoic chambers, there is no sound to orient yourself. Yes, the gyroscopes keep turning, but without a soundscape, you're kind of just on your own. So your brain being the incredibly smart device that it is, decides to just make shit up in order to fill the void. It doesn't know how to function without it because you've quite literally lived with it your entire life. This is why people that are born deaf are completely fine because their brains have never had to rely on sound. 
Whereas if you've had to rely on sound your entire life and you suddenly take it away, you begin to have some problems. It begins to become deafening. That is quite literally where the saying silence is deafening comes from. But yet here is the paradox because silence isn't always a bad thing. In small doses, it can act as a sort of medicine. Just a few minutes of quiet every day can have serious benefits like lowering blood pressure, lowering stress hormones. It can even promote growth in the hippocampus, which is the learning center of the brain. So it can quite literally help your brain grow. But there is a razor fine edge to it because a few minutes can be great, but a few hours can completely destroy your brain. It can quite literally drive you to insanity. What if I told you that multitasking is physically impossible for anyone? Your parents have been lying to you your entire life. Well, if you want proof, there's a video here. But if not, thanks for watching. Goodbye.